Hi again, crafty friends. So the other day I was playing around and um, playing with some of my new stuff from um, Deco Arts and I made these tags and these aren't the ones I was using my um, new Deco Art stuff with, but I came across this idea and I thought, wow, that, that would be really pretty for a, a uh, mini album I'm putting together. So I made these and I just love them. They're made with stamps and some um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink and some embossing powder and they just came out really, really nice. So I want to kind of go through what I did to make these, but I'm going to use um, some different colors today because I, I want more of these, but I want them in some different colors. So um, basically the, the steps are the same, the process is the same, um, but it's gonna they're going to turn out just a little bit different, which I'm okay with because I love these. And I made them so that they're like uh, journaling tags. Um, I just love them. I don't know. They, they just came out so well. So, um, what I have out today is, oh, I also made this, um, like I said, I was playing around with my new deco art stuff. And so I used some of the, um, dimensional effects, texture paste, and, um, one of my stencils that I got. And that just turned out really awesome. I'm going to use this for something else. Um, but I just love it. Um, the turquoise on here is one of the glimmer sprays that, that, um, deco arts has. And let me tell you what, the colors are absolutely amazing. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go through the process of how I made the butterfly cards, but I did want to show that because I was just playing around and, and, um, love it. It came out really nice. So what I have are, um, just some shipping tags from uh, Office Depot. They're these these ones are white um, and they're shiny on one side and um, not shiny on the other, um, but that's okay. And I'm not going to use these strings, so I just take the strings off. That's what I have my twine for. Um, so I like to do three or four at a time. I think on this one I'm just going to do. Oh, I have, I have five tags. I might as well do them all. Why not? I may only show you one just, um, because sometimes it takes so long for them to dry. I'm, I also have my, um, heat gun. So I'm going to pause the video occasionally whenever I do some heat setting, but I did want to show that. And I have some little paper flowers that I might, um, spray up, ink up, distress up and make pretty. These I think came out of the 50 cent bin at Michael's. So there's that. And then I have a box I'm going to use, um, for drying my cards when I need, when they're all wet. I also have, um, this glamour dust from Deco Arts in Champagne that I'm going to try out. I have antiquing cream from Deco Arts and the metallic luster in Majestic Purple. And this is amazing. So I'm going to just kind of play around and you may see me pause the video a couple of times just so I can do some drawing and, and playing around. So, um, here I go. What I like to use, um, I don't have the ink dauber thingies. So I just take these, um, cotton face things from the drugstore and use them to do my distressing with and they work just fine. They do get a little fuzzy, but you know, no big deal. Um, and I should have gotten a piece of paper, but I did not. So I'll just use a, a piece of garbage. Um, actually I do have something I can use down here. Cause I don't have my craft mat either. I'll use this just because it's a white surface and you can see what I'm doing if I can get myself organized. 
All right, I start with the shiny side. That's actually the side I decorate, um, and it holds up pretty well with all the stuff. So I'm going to start with, I've got some antique linen, uh, Victorian velvet, dusty concord, and tea dye. And I think what I'm going to do is, <laughs> let's go with, I also have um, scattered straw and vintage photo. So vintage photo is a little bit dark for what I want to do. Um, so I'll just start with the antique linen and go from there. <clears throat> so all I'm doing is inking up my little piece of cotton and just kind of rubbing it all over this um, tag. Because I want it kind of a, a white-ish color, but not white because these tags are white, white. So I'm just kind of rubbing it around. So now you can see the difference. Set that one aside. All right, so you don't need to watch me do this. I'm gonna pause the video and um, be right back whenever I have colored them up and heat set them. So I will be right back. All right, so now I have them all um, colored and heat set so they now are a nice off-white color and I don't mind that that they're darker in places I don't know if you can see this one but they're um, like little smudge marks and the color is not real even and that is perfectly fine because that's what I'm going for so again I'm going to use the the um, shiny side of these or the finished side whatever you want to call it um, to decorate now, the next step that I am going to go through, um, last time I used um, the tea dye around, around the outside, but this time I think I'm gonna go for um, some of the Dusty Concord. It's a little bit darker. You can see this. it's this purple right here. Um, so I think I'm gonna go around the outside with it and see what that looks like. I may hate it, and that's okay too. Actually, I do kind of like that. And I'm just not, I don't want it an even color. I'm just kind of going around it um, to give it a little bit of dimension and uh, movement. So that's what it's going to look like. And I love this dusty Concord color. Um, it's not a real crazy dark purple. Um, I mean, you could make it dark, obviously, but that's not the color I'm going for. I'm going for a mu more muted color. And since this is a shiny side, it the ink kind of moves around a little bit, which is nice. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to pause the video again so that I can finish these up because you don't need to watch me do this unless you just absolutely want to. Um, in that case, I'm sorry, but if I do that, this video will be forever long and you'll get tired and you won't want to watch it. So um, I'm going to pause and finish this last one, do some heat setting, and then I'll be right back. All right. Now I have, um, I've colored them all and heat set them so they're ready for the next step, um, which I'm not sure what I want to do exactly. Um, what I may do is play with this antiquing cream. Um, it is the patina green color. It's really quite nice. So, um... 
it's like a greenish gold color I don't know I don't know I don't know how to explain it um, but that's kind of what I'm gonna call it and again I'm just going to use a piece of one of these cotton things um, kind of like a cotton ball and see what happens and I'm just gonna kind of rub it around in places and not be real um, clean about it. Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm getting kind of a marbly effect, which I really like. So I think I'll continue with that. And you can go around in circles or just kind of do some swiping. I don't know. So they're all going to be a little bit different, but I really like those. And some of them may turn out a little darker than others, and that's okay. Some of the edges might be a little weird, and that's okay too. Just having fun. Those are going to be really nice. All right. I am going to finish up this last one and then um, heat set these just to make sure that they're dry and ready for the next part. So I will be right back. Hello again. All right. I have um, used the patina green on these to make them kind of marbly. And I've decided that the uh, vintage photo is really a little bit um, light for what I want to do. So I changed up to my walnut stain to make that um, background just a little bit darker. And <clears throat> I think that's because these are a darker color. So I want to make sure that it really shows up. Um, on two of them, I'm going to use my little swirly stamp. Um, it's by Hero Arts and I have, it's called the Design Block Flourish. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to use this stamp, which is from Stamp Abilities and it is the Faded Text Background and this is like a French script. Um, so I'm going to do, I uh, actually think I'm going to do two in the script and three in the Flourish just to kind of mix it up since I already have three with the, the script on it. <clears throat> and I'm going to do it again in Walnut Stain, which is the um, Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. So if I do this right, I can go ahead. Yeah, I can do two at a time if I'm, if I'm good. Not saying I'm good, but we're going to try it out. And I don't mind if it's not all perfect, if the stamp doesn't come out 100%. Um, that's okay because this is still part of the background and I'm going to layer stuff over the top of it. So, all right, it's all inked up. So here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. Give it a good smush. And that is perfect, actually. And that one didn't come out too great, um, but that's okay. What I may try to do is wipe some of this off and see if I can get in the center. It may totally mess it up. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go. That'll work. Just got a piece in the center there. That's perfectly fine. Okay, set that aside for a minute. And now I'm just gonna ink up half of this one because I don't need the whole thing. Make sure it's 
really good and inky. And go smush. I usually don't do this sitting down, so I apologize. There we go. Now we got a good one. All right, so that's those two with the flourish. So the other two I'm going to do with my words. Tricky thing about the script is you have to make sure that your stamp is going the right way. Otherwise, your words are upside down. Okay, just making sure. And now we go smush. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to also leave the stamp on for just a, a few minutes, um, especially since I'm doing the inky or the slick side of the um, tag that I have. Um, sometimes it takes just a few minutes for the ink to transfer. But that is pretty perfect. And really, I like that a whole lot better than I like the flourishes. Maybe it's just my um, obsession with French script. I don't know. All right. I really like those. Okay. I'm going to heat set my um, tags so that for the next part, the ink doesn't smear around. Um, so I will be right back. All right, the tags are dry and heat set, so I am ready to move on to the next step, which um, is going to be stamping some of these. Um, this one is by Stamp Abilities called Vintage Flourish, and you can tell I use I've used it a whole bunch, and I can't seem to get the um, ink off of my stamp. I have tried everything from. Um, stamp cleaners to uh, homemade stamp cleaner and it just it won't come off I don't know can't get it off um, but it doesn't come off when I'm stamping so I'm not terribly concerned about it um, but I think what I want to do is um, use I think I'm going to use the dusty concord um, and since I'm not spreading the ink around this time I think it's going to show up really really bright and that's okay I think that's what I want um, so I'm just going to try it and what I do is um, I actually like to stamp off the page so that it looks it doesn't look you know like a big honking thing right in the middle of your page um, and I like to just kind of tilt it a little bit so that it looks a little bit random. Um, so organized chaos. And that looks pretty awesome to me. And because it's kind of the same color uh, that I used um, before, it blends in, but yet it doesn't blend in. I don't know how to say that, but... That is kind of what the plan was. So I'm going to do another one. And that's what that one looks like. And I just like to, I don't like for each of the tags to be the same. So um, I am going for a bit of random. And I am going to use this one on all five stamps, or all five tags. Um, just because I really like this stamp. I'm going to need to stick that one right next to it. 
and get a bit of both. Why waste your ink, huh? All right, there's that one. See, you learn new stuff all the time by just playing around. See what happens when I try to do all three at the same time. See what kind of awesomeness happens. Wow, I like that a lot. There's that one. Inky, inky. There's that one. I'm going to do one more on this side, right about here. Love that stamp. And there's that one. Nope. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set these just to make sure that the ink doesn't come off. And I will be right back for the next part. All right. The ink has been heat set on these. Um, and because this is like a shiny surface card, um, the ink doesn't set real well. So uh, what I've been doing is just flipping it over onto a paper towel and just kind of put it down on the paper towel just to kind of soak up some of the extra ink that may be laying there. Um, and you can see just a little bit right here maybe. Um, but that tends to, as long as you're not rubbing the card back and forth or the tag, it seems to work. Um, just kind of smooth it down and it'll pick up any of the extra ink that's sitting on the surface. Um, there's not a lot, it just, some of the ink is still a little bit sticky, um, but that's okay. Because we're gonna do something else over the top of it. One more. All right. Okay, what I want to do now is um, do a another one of these um, butterflies right here. But I think I'm going to use um, a lighter color for where I have the little purple butterflies. I don't know if you can see those. Um, I'm going to use a, I'm going to use the tea dye and see if it brings it out or if it's a total fail. So I'm going to use one of these that I don't like as well as the others as my little test card. Um, and I think it's going to be this one right here since this is the one where the stamp kind of messed up the first time. Um, and this is, again, this is tea dye. Yeah. Um, and this is just a little stamp that I found in the 50 cent bin at Michael's, but it was a really pretty butterfly. Um, so I'm going to see what happens. If 
Actually, I really kind of like that. It's kind of an orangey color-ish, um, but I like it. So I think I'll do a couple more. <clears throat> And it's kind of, it's supposed to be in the background, so I'm not really worried about it being seen, like, vibrantly. Because um, it's kind of not supposed to be. Okay, there's. That's what that one looks like. And I don't really like that the butterfly is right here in this purple because you can't really see it, but that's okay. Um, just testing it out and seeing what happens. Um, so this is one with the French script on it. Um, I think I'm going to do one flying in from the corner. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll do another one flying in from this corner. I like that a lot. This one I got a little crazy with the flourish stamp. So we're going to do kind of right in the center here. And then let's do one flying off and this one coming on like Last one. Yep, do this one. So there's that one. Okay, I'm going to set this ink and I'll be right back with um, second to the last step, I think. So I'll be right back. Okay, now what I want to do is um, do a heat embossed, like the black butterflies here. I want to do this again. Um, pretty much in the same place just because I really like that placement um, but I may turn him so that he's flying off some turn flying in I don't know and this is just a cheap craft smart ink pad um, it seems to do really well with heat embossing and then I have no idea what brand this is it came with my heat gun uh, and this is a recollections so I'm assuming this is recollections um, embossing powder so I'm gonna go with that and I'm going to need another sheet of paper or something to dump my um, embossing powder into and if I had a normal sheet of paper laying around it has escaped oh dear there's got to be something around here that I have okay I'm going to go get a piece of paper and I'll be right back. All right. I found a folder, which works just as well because it has a crease already in it and I don't have to worry. So let's get started. All right. What I'm going to do is basically stamp, dump the embossing power, stamp the next one. That way I can do all of the heat um, embossing all at the same time um, and only have to dump the stuff once. So. 
use what you got, you know. Actually, I think I'm going to do it this way so I can see this pretty little butterfly, making sure that it's really, really inked up. And um, this is a pretty juicy pad. It's washable, but you know what? It it works just fine. Um, it's not as fancy as the um, stays on or anything, but it works just as well. So this little butterfly is going to fly off like so and I'm going to move it over here. Alright. Ink up the butterfly again. And this time he's going to fly in. Like that. This time, I think... He's going to fly from this side, actually, because I like this side. This one, I think he's going to fly off the page. Actually, he's going to fly in because there's another butterfly flying off. So he's going to fly in like this. And last one, I think he's going to come from the bottom and fly out. <clears throat> Very good. All right, close up this mess, and let's see what we have. There's one butterfly. This is my favorite part, because it's all a surprise until you get it done. So there's another one. And there's one. There's the one flying in from the other way. And this was the last one we did. And he's flying out like that. I'm very happy, very pleased. Okay, I'm going to heat set those and clean up my mess and I'll be right back. All right. The um, heat embossing set is done, and now there's this really nice shine to them. See if you can see that. Um, and honestly, I think this one is my favorite one. See that? So pretty. Um, this one's kind of interesting. The ink wasn't quite set on the um, tea stained or tea dyed butterflies so a little of the embossing powder got in there and it kind of highlighted the wings which is fine with me because it just gives it that extra added um, interest so I like it I think it's a lot of fun all right um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out this um, champagne glamour dust by deco arts um, 
I'm going to test it on this one that was kind of crazy weird. Um, where the stamp didn't quite work out right. And what I'm going to try to do is just go in and highlight um, inside the wings of the embossed butterfly. So I'm just going to try to do these little parts in here and see what happens. If I don't like it, then yeah, no worries. Um, and I had a paintbrush somewhere, but I've lost it. So um, I'm just going to use my finger. And see what happens. I'm not really trying to paint it in. I just want some shimmer in there just as a slight, slight color. Um, and this is the glamour dust, so it's pretty translucent. Um, and actually, I kind of like that. I don't know if you can see the color difference, um, but it's just enough. And whenever it dries, it's going to be super sparkly in there because of the glitter. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them because I liked it. So I'm just taking a little bit on my finger, not a lot, and just kind of rubbing it around inside the uh, 